common misconception is yoga is simply an exercise regime, often involving extreme body contortions. Such a misconception belies the tremendous healing power yoga can have on both the body and the mind. What's more, its profound influence on one's path towards wellness can be realized by even those with precious little endurance who may even be bedbound or confined to a wheelchair. Generally, yoga can play an important role in one's path towards wellness. Several recent studies have clearly shown yoga's positive effects on the brain, central nervous system, and immune system, as well as the body's circulatory, muscular, and skeletal systems. The practice of yoga can thicken the layers of the cerebral cortex, the part of the brain associated with higher learning, and increases neuroplasticity, which helps us learn new things and change the way we do things. Patients may see considerable results within a couple weeks and significant changes within three months when undertaken with full intent and determination. The primary focus of Hatha Yoga is to improve one's health and well-being through an awareness of breath and body through physical movements, meditation, relaxation techniques. The first step in realizing the benefits of yoga is concentrating on and modulating your breath, making it deeper as you become even more aware of the movement of air into and out of your body. Virtually all of the various postures in yoga involve at least one of the six basic movements of the spine. Forward, backward, side to side, and twist to the left and right. The first few minutes of a yoga practice session should be spent uniting your mind and body, establishing a clear focus on and an awareness of what is going on in your physical being, as well as opening up your mind to greater possibilities. This brief period is followed by physical movements from one posture to another to stretch and strengthen both the mind and body. The last segment of a proper yoga practice is a period of rest, relaxation and rejuvenation. Allow yourself just the next few minutes to see how even as little as 10 minutes a day can change your life, not just your body, for the better and propel you on the path towards wellness. Namaste everybody. How about we start with our eyes closed? Because we know that when we close our eyes, you can place your arms, your hands, wherever they feel comfortable. And as you close your eyes gently, scan your mind, scan your bodies. Scan your mind for what it feels. Are you scared, nervous, tense, whatever it feels? Acknowledge that and then scan your bodies to see if what you feel in your mind translates itself in your body in your shoulders, your spine, even as symptoms of dryness in your throat, a headache maybe. Narrow that frame of attention now to that space, just above your upper lip. Tip of your nose, begin to establish a deep breath. So I, all I want you to bring awareness is to my breathing in and out. I breathe in, three to four seconds. I breathe out a little longer, maybe five to six seconds. My lungs fill up, my lungs empty out. That pie-shaped muscle just below my rib cage moves up and down. As I inhale, my diaphragm that pie-shaped muscle presses down. As I exhale, 
The diaphragm pushes high up into my chest. My ribs contract. My ribs expand. I breathe in, I breathe out. And this is all I need to remember for the next any duration of any yoga practice that you come to. Remember you've got to breathe in and out. Tuck your chin in. Inhale as you look up. Feel free to open your eyes if you want to. Tuck your chin in. Inhale as you look up a couple more times. Notice the simple movement of moving your head up and down has already started the articulation of breath in your spine. The spine was designed in a way, anatomically, it has to move in six different directions for its optimum well-being of your spine we need to move it in six different directions. And when you bring your neck back to its neutral, go ahead everyone, extend your arms out to the front. Show me what you can do. Turn your palms up to the sky, breathing. Inhale, touch your shoulders. Breathing, open them out. Touch your shoulders. Breathing as you do this a couple more times. Feeling free to keep my eyes opened or closed. Beginning to understand that this begins to become a very personal experience for each one of us. And the last time you extend your arms out, can you make a fist of your hands? You can turn your palms whichever way. Unclench your hands. There are 300 joints in your body. Do this a few couple more times, breathing. And when you're ready, rotate your wrist joints this way and that way. Both hands, doing the best you can. And then in that opposite direction and noticing that if I'm limited in one side, it is what it is. Breathing as I do this, I turn my palms to the walls in front of me my fingers pointed up. I put, pull one set of fingers towards me. If I can, nice. Feeling that sweet stretch in the bottom of my arm. And I switch hands. Noticing that the sensation is, is, is a little different on the other side. I release. I bring my hands to my shoulders, elbows opened out. I'm going to try because I'm breathing and I know I can. Inhale as I bring my elbows together. Exhale as I open them out, my shoulder blades kiss. Inhale, I bring my elbows together. Exhale as I open them out a couple more times. And all I'm doing is I'm not paying attention to my postures. I'm practicing life skills here. Functional movements. So to improve my optimum range of movement in my shoulders and my spine. And the next time, taking my breath, I lower my arms down by my shoulder, on my knees maybe, or my thighs. Inhale, I lift my shoulders up. Exhale, I let them collapse. Inhale, I lift. <coughs> Exhale, I collapse. One more time. And breathing. I'm going to rotate my shoulders a couple times this way and that way. So you're going to make the determination. You're going to figure out which is my favorite side and how do I do what I do and I do best. And breathing as I do this, I identify my right arm. I extend it across my chest to my left. Lower it down. Identify my left arm, reach it across my chest to my right. One more time with my right arm. And I notice 
that as I do this, I'm not just improving my range of movement one last time to my left, I'm also making sure that my breath is there to open up any tense areas. My um, hands are on my knees or my thighs. I take a breath as I bring my hands to my shoulders. I rotate them on in one direction first and I do the best I can because truly this is about me. This is about the way I practice everything in my day-to-day -day existence. My limitations have now become my strongest qualities. I'm no longer challenged because I'm breathing, because I'm well, because I know I'm going to be okay. I bring my hands to my shoulder, to my thighs one last time, and maybe breathing as I do this, I lift my right leg up. Again, practicing it the way I feel right. I rotate my right foot a couple times, this way and that way. Lower it down. I lift my left leg up and I notice if I'm limited, it is what it is. I rotate my left foot a couple times this way and that way. Beautiful, everyone. Beautiful range of movement. Lower that left foot down. Lift your right knee up. Just lift that right foot off the ground so your knee points up. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Notice how simple these movements are. I keep checking in with my breath. Lower it down a couple more times. Right leg up. Lower it down. Left leg up. Lower it down. One last time. Right leg up. Beautiful, everyone. One last time. Lift my left leg up. I lower it down and I keep my hands where they feel comfortable and I just turn and breathe over my right shoulder and as I do this I'm noticing that I'm twisting not just from my neck I'm feeling the twist all the way down into my lowest rib all the way down almost into my tailbone I take my time I slowly turn and breathe over my left shoulder and I notice something, that one side of my body, I am able to do a lot more. One more time to my right. And one last time to my left. And you all are going to try this, guys. As you come back to the center, you're going to show me what you can do. Inhale as you lean back into your heart. Remember your heart and your spine have a front and back to it. You're going to try. You're going to slowly, literally lower the head down in between your knees. Inhale, sit up tall, I try. Exhale, I fold my body in half. Notice that the spine, the human spine, was, was designed in a way that it has to feel six different range of movement. A couple more times, guys. Beautiful. And when you come up for the last time, hold yourself up there, guys. Reach up with your right arm. Lower it down. Do not take the simplicity of these moments. Reach up with your left arm. Lower it down. Two more times. Showing me what you can do. Left arm. And maybe adding on one more posture. As you reach up with your arm, you're going to make a fist of your hand. Unclench. And you're going to try. So it doesn't matter whether we keep up with each other or not. Make a fist, 
unclench lower it down reach up beautiful everyone make a fist unclench lower it down and as you slowly bring your hands to your thighs your knees tuck your chin in one last time inhale look up exhale tuck inhale look up exhale tuck last time look straight ahead breathe over your right shoulder coming back to the center breathe over your left shoulder beautiful everyone coming back to the center breathe over your right shoulder to the center breathe over your left shoulder and as you slowly come back to the center identify acknowledge all the workings of your body and slowly as you come to that place as you close your eyes just rest for a few breaths let your body just absorb the wellness the richness the quality the strength the calm the generosity of your breath notice how rejuvenated you feel as you slowly like coming out of a deep sleep i begin to very mindfully begin to articulate my breath as i open my eyes begin to move my fingers rotate my wrist joints this way and that way bring my palms together at my heart center and i bow to that energy that divine energy inside me to learn more about yoga please come visit us